Once upon a time in the quaint village of Harmony Haven, there lived a spirited young woman named Ilara. Ilara was known for her independent spirit and her penchant for challenging societal norms. In this particular village, like in many others, there was a deeply ingrained belief that women should always sit while urinating. One day, as Ilara strolled through the bustling market square, she overheard a group of women engaged in a spirited discussion about the traditional practice. The women spoke about how sitting was not just a matter of etiquette, but also a symbol of femininity and modesty. Ilara couldn't help but question the logic behind this age-old tradition. Determined to challenge the norm, Ilara decided to embark on a quest for knowledge. She sought out the village elder, a wise woman named Serafina, who was known for her knowledge of ancient customs and traditions. Serafina, Ilara inquired, why is it that women are expected to sit while urinating? Does it truly define our femininity and modesty? Serafina chuckled, recognising Ilara's boldness. She began to share the tale of a long-lost tradition that had been passed down through generations. In ancient times, women stood while urinating as a symbol of strength and equality. However, as the world evolved, so did societal norms, and the act of standing became associated with immodesty. Ilara's curiosity only grew, and she decided to challenge the status quo. She researched the benefits of standing while urinating and discovered that it could promote better bladder health and reduce the risk of urinary tract infections. Armed with this newfound knowledge, Ilara organised a town meeting to share her findings. Initially met with scepticism, she presented her case with poise and eloquence, urging the women of Harmony Haven to reconsider the age-old tradition. Slowly but surely, the women of the village began to open their minds to the idea. Ilara's passion and conviction inspired them to question societal norms and embrace change. With the support of the community, they decided to challenge the long-standing practice, encouraging women to make the choice that felt most comfortable for them. In time, the women of Harmony Haven realised that embracing change did not diminish their femininity or modesty. Instead, it empowered them to make decisions about their bodies based on what felt right for them. And so, the village of Harmony Haven became a beacon of progress, proving that sometimes questioning tradition can lead to positive change and a more inclusive and enlightened society. Elara's courage had not only transformed the way women in the village perceived themselves, but had also created a ripple effect that reached far beyond the borders of Harmony Haven. Please subscribe to my channel Lessons of Life and press the bell notification icon.